Hello everyone, this is Dan with Syntex, and today we're going to go over Selenium. Just kind of a quick overview. So what Selenium is, is an automation tool that we can use to automate our test cases for web-based applications. And how it does this is use something called Selenium WebDriver. Now Selenium WebDriver is an interface. It's also an automation framework that we can communicate directly with our browsers. And how it does that is by using certain drivers. And we'll talk about that in future lessons. Now, Selenium is an open source automation testing tool. Now, open source means free. And the great thing about that is, being that it's free, and it's also a great product and extremely popular, any one of us can go ahead and download and use it. Um, and because it's so popular and widely used, it means the community is very, very large. Now, what we mean by community is the user base. So the cool thing about that of having a large community with any sort of tool is that there's a lot of users. So if we ever come across you know, a situation or maybe an error or some kind of complication with our testing uh, with using the Selenium framework here, odds are we can go to a reputable source and find a spot on answer and how to resolve our issues. So that's really great. Now, Selenium WebDriver supports many, many browsers. We have a Chrome, Firefox, you name it, it can do it, right? And that's pretty, pretty important because when we do testing, we also like to do cross-browser testing. And if you aren't doing that, you probably should. It, it's a pretty good, you know, pretty much industry standard, and it's, it's a great way to go ahead and try to break the application, which is kind of our job as a tester, right? Making sure that our application is supported by various browsers and make sure everything works the way it does, right? So Selenium allows us to automate that process. Now, Selenium WebDriver also works on many different operating systems. Uh, we have you know, Windows, Linux, Macintosh, whatever kind of operating system you guys have, it should support. Um, it also supports various programming languages. Um, you can write your test scripts with it as well, test cases. And we can use Java, Python, C Sharp, Net, Perl, Ruby, PHP, you name it. Now, Selenium WebDriver supports data-driven testing batch testing, and as we already talked about, cross-browser testing and database testing, which is extremely important for front-end and back-end testing. Now, we're going to show you just a real quick example of what Selenium can do. So I'm going to open up my Eclipse, which is my IDE, where I have a Selenium project here. And what we have coded here is, is a very quick example of kind of some capabilities of Selenium. Now, what we have coded is we wanted to go to a Google driver right we want to use Google we want to go to amazon.com we want to take our mouse and hover over a menu we want to make sure that menu popped up we're gonna go ahead and right click and we're gonna go ahead and click into a search box and type in movies and search for movies we're gonna wait five seconds and then we're gonna quit which means we're gonna close down the browser uh, there's, we'll talk about all these methods later on, and there's better ways of doing it. There's multiple different ways of doing it, and we'll talk about that in future lessons. But this is a real quick example of what Slam can do. So if this was my test case, I wanted to go there and do all these actions, which I've coded for. Now I gotta go ahead and run. And here we go. And there we go. Five more seconds. It should close by itself. And there it is. It went ahead and closed the browser for us. So there you go, guys. That's a real quick example of uh, what is Selenium, some of the features, why it's really, really a great tool. And just a quick here example and a sample of some code and um, how it performs. So we're going to show you how to do all this in future lessons. So stick with us, guys. Um, and now, if you guys hadn't done so already, here in our Syntex TV YouTube channel, we have Selenium download and installation for Mac and Windows alike. So make sure you guys will go ahead and watch those videos. And let's go ahead and keep this moving. All right, guys. See you next time. Happy coding.